JD Power, they say that by the end of this year, well over 50% of all American car buyers will have access to an electric car in their price and segment. It's changing quickly, very quickly. And if you're not a car company making electric cars in the US, you are going to be left behind. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. My name's Sam Evans. I'm coming to you from Bangkok in Thailand. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back, everyone else. We made more videos here about EVs, about EV technology, about the future of this industry than any other channel over the last two years. And we didn't even start this channel two years ago. So yeah, 2,924 videos as of this video. Now, I want to say a big thank you to every single one of you. There's been more than 4,200 people who have contributed to my wife's GoFundMe campaign. Well, she didn't start it. I started it because, well, because I needed the money actually, because the cancer treatment she's going through right now for stage four cancer, uh, well, they cost 11,000, just under 11,000 Australian dollars per week. Uh, it's crazy, but yeah, it does appear to be working. Uh, the doctors didn't give us a very good prognosis. They said there wasn't long to live, basically. Uh, hard to say that, but that's what they said. But so far, they have gone down 50% the tumors. So thank you so much for helping that happen. If you want to know more about that, I'll put a link in the description below to the GoFundMe page. Over half of US buyers will have EV options by the end of 2023. Basically, they've looked at every EV coming out. They've looked at the prices of those cars and they've said, well, actually, there's a lot of models here. The price has come down, partly driven by Tesla driving prices down worldwide, which is something I think we should be thankful for. Rather than critiquing it, the media is just like blasting them for doing this. I'm thinking, why? It's a good thing. We want cheaper EVs. This is great. This is what we've been wanting for ages. And I've said on the channel here to you guys now for a long time, wait to buy your Tesla EV. I kept saying, wait to buy your EV. Prices are coming down. And they did. Now, I wasn't the only one predicting this. I know many of you knew this would happen as well. That said, you need to go buy your Tesla. If you want to get the standard range model three, get it now. You've got 15 days before the tax credit will go from 7,500 to 3,750. So you might as well get that discount. Now, I make nothing. I don't sell EVs. I don't, <laughs> it doesn't affect me in any way. I have no promotion code to give you to, to give myself some sort of discount. I'm just saying, might as well save the money. So for years, electric vehicles were a left field choice. There wasn't many options. You know, you had to go and pay a whole lot more money for a car. And then you had to say, well, hey, at least the running costs are really cheap. I'm going to save money. The resale value is better. But now that's not really true anymore. Now you've got all those things going for you if you buy an EV, but you've also got the resale, but you've also got uh, the fact that you can get EVs now in many cases on parity. I mean, if you include this seven and a half thousand US dollar incentive and you buy a car that qualifies, many cars are the same price as their gasoline powered competitors. That's pretty damn awesome. By the end of this year though, EVs will be available from so many brands and in so many sectors of the market that over half of Americans looking to buy a new car will have a viable electric option available to them. And that could swell to 75% by the end of 2025. That's a big change. You know, Biden administration, they want 50% of all cars being sold in America to you guys in America. By 2030, 50% by 2030. They say that's their target. It'll be tough. I mean, you know, the media are saying it's not going to happen. It's too hard. It's, Americans don't want EVs. They're wrong. They're dead wrong. EVs by 2030 in the US will be on par or cheaper in some cases. Americans by then, the ones that I haven't worked it out yet, that aren't smart enough yet, they will have worked out by then that an EV is a much better product. Didn't take people that long to work out that Blackberries and all those old Nokia phones and Ericsson's with buttons all over them. They weren't as good as a smartphone. And what happened? You know what happened. That's the view of JD Power, which told Automotive News that similarities in design between EVs and combustion vehicles was helping open up the market to more buyers. JD Power are saying that your choices will be enormous by the end of this year. Plus, keep in mind, these companies, they are investing literally hundreds of billions in the US over the next five years to increase battery production, increase EV production. It's gonna be more choice, much more choice and better prices. That's awesome, I love this. Now, what this all means is that EVs are no longer restricted to a handful of brands. Compared with a decade ago or even five years ago, carscoops.com says the availability of an electric power option 
has mushroomed, meaning drivers who've been loyal to a marquee for generations are more likely to be able to switch to electric power without having to switch brands. It doesn't mean they won't switch brand. I mean, if you're a car company like, for example, Japanese automakers that aren't making EVs in the US and don't plan to, or don't plan to make EVs worldwide really for years to come, then you'll lose market share. I mean, who are buying Teslas? Massive percentage of people who buy Teslas used to buy Toyotas or Hondas. The Toyota and Honda brand fans. And they're going, well, Toyota, Honda, you got nothing for us, sayonara, bye-bye. JD Power says the other big factor responsible for making electric cars a viable option for so many more drivers is a fall in the price of EVs. JD's data shows that three months ago, drivers were looking at paying a 31% premium to pick an EV over a combustion vehicle. That's fallen to 24%, but if you include the $7,500 incentive, it's now around only 10%. I mean, it's now cheaper to buy an EV simply because your running costs are minuscule in comparison, especially if you have solar. It's almost nothing. Tesla has slashed EV prices. Ford cut thousands from the price of the Mustang Mach-E. I mean, General Motors did the same with the Bolt and the Bolt EUV. The cost of some electric vehicles has been further pushed down by state incentives and, of course, the Inflation Reduction Act. Now, just because buyers can go electric doesn't mean they will. You've got to do the work. Now, you don't have to, but if you do, we're all better off. Unfortunately, emissions from cars cause millions of deaths every year, far more than the coronavirus. It's massively worse than corona. And no one realizes this because the media doesn't talk about this at all doesn't sell for some reason. But if we share this information with our friends, if we share this with you know our colleagues, even if they want to argue, just planting that little seed, sometimes that's all they need to start thinking, hang on a minute, were my preconceived ideas about EVs wrong? Is it now worth making the switch? Personally, well, I know it is. Now let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.